ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Remy Ma's son. A lot of people have been wanting me to talk about this situation with her son. She came out and claimed that her son was innocent. You know, this was some type of farce. But now more, more news is coming out today that he's not as innocent as she claimed that he was. So this was last week. Let me share this screen with y'all here. Okay. So last week, Remy Ma uh, told, talked to TMZ. And they said this, Remy Ma is now reacting to her son's arrest, telling TMZ, we stand by Jason's, or Jason? Oh, maybe she spells it that way, okay. Jason's innocent. And pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly a difficult time for my family and me. While we sincerely appreciate the love and support we have received from you all, we kindly ask, we kindly ask for privacy as our legal team works to prove Jason's innocent. innocence. Remy Ma's son is being represented by an attorney, Don Filario. Remy Ma says via the law office, as his mother, I want to address this situation personally, but have been strongly advised by his legal counsel not to say anything. At most people in this similar situation are informed by their attorneys to do, to do it being an active case. So a lot of people are saying you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, she herself went to prison for about eight years because she, you know, shot her friend in the stomach. And then, I don't know how true this is, people are saying that the man that was killed is Kenneth Petty's cousin. And so, you know, it's like the irony. Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma were beefing, and then they're saying that the the drug dealer that they supposedly killed was Kenneth, Penny's, Kenneth Petty's cousin. I don't know how true that is. That's just what I've been hearing on social media. Um, but yeah, now there's surveillance video incriminating her son. So they're saying that her son was caught in 4K. I also have a news clip. Nobody. Hold up. No, not that one. Okay, here it is. Okay, so we're going to watch this news clip really quick. They're talking about it in detail. I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. 23-year-old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a murder in Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a murder for hire. Right, Fox 5's Teresa Priolo joins us live from a story where the victim lived. Teresa, what can you tell us? Yes, yeah, Steve and Natasha, residents I spoke to here, they didn't know the victim, but they do know who Remy Ma is, and they're telling us that they hope her celebrity doesn't play into this case. Tonight, we are learning that that victim was allegedly killed by Remy Ma's son, Jason Jace Scott. So here's what we know at this hour. 23-year-old Scott was arrested today on first-degree murder and weapons charges. It's unclear if he pulled the trigger or if he hired the hit that took the life of Darius Gilbo, who lived here at the Ravenswood houses in Astoria. The crime occurred nearby in broad daylight back in 2021. Gilbo took hits to the head and to the chest. Gilbo had an extensive criminal history. Eight months before he was killed, he was indicted in a massive drug trafficking operation. As for Jay Scott, he appeared alongside his mom, Remy Ma, in the hit show Love and Hip Hop. She's one of the biggest names in hip hop and has been since 2006. She also has something of a lengthy rap sheet and has done six years in prison on a gun crime. But none of that mattered to the folks that we took talk to here in Astoria. It doesn't matter if it's a celebrity or not. Exactly. If you commit a crime, you're supposed to be paid for the crime you committed. It could be anybody. It doesn't matter. You know, if they're, you know, their mother's famous or father's, it doesn't matter. We got the police station on the corner. We got sanitation. So and they're not around. too many things happening here. They happen around here, but not in here. It's really difficult. Statement 
We received a statement from Remy Ma's attorney about Jay Scott. Uh, that, that came in late this afternoon. They said that, that Remy Ma hoped to publicly address this. She's been advised not to, so they told us, quote, nevertheless, Remy Ma is committed to pr uh, proving Jason's innocence and supporting her child during this time. We stand by Jason's innocence and hope the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. Now, back out here live, we should also tell you that a second man, a man by the name of Richard Swigert, was also arrested and charged with murder and weapons charges. Steve and Natasha, it's unclear what led to this, if there was any relationship between these guys before this murder happened. We can tell you that we are expecting Scott to be arraigned early next week. That's the latest from Astoria tonight. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Tree. So, okay, so to this whole Remy Ma situation, um, it is really disturbing. And, you know, a lot of people are saying the apple doesn't fall far from, you know, fall far from the tree. And... I don't disagree with that. You know, she went to prison for the same thing, for shooting somebody. You know, thank goodness the woman that she shot didn't die. But I always felt like Remy and her ma, Remy Ma and her son had a weird relationship. Like, granted, she wasn't there to raise him because she was locked up through his formative years. But even when he ended up having a child, she didn't really acknowledge it. Like, she's a grandmother. He became a father, I want to say maybe like two, three years ago, when he was like maybe 19. And I remember people were going off on her, like, why aren't you acknowledging your grandchild? Why didn't you go to, you know, to the baby shower? And she was, y'all remember that? That people were dragging her for not going to her grandchild's baby shower or the son's baby shower for the grandchild. And she never really acknowledged this baby. So at that point, I kind of felt, yeah, at that point, I kind of felt like, something was amiss there, that they weren't as close as they should be. Because everybody was saying, yeah, y'all not don't forget anything. Yeah, he has a kid. Because I remember he, the, the baby mama was on the internet, you know, kind of saying little things as well, that, you know, basically they're on their own. And it kind of seemed like, and granted, Remy Ma had just had a baby as well. The, he was kind of having a baby around the same time she was pregnant. It was something to that effect or else her daughter was already born. But I know that, his little sister and the grandchild are pretty close in age. So my thing is, they're saying this might be a murder for hire. If you are Remy Ma's son, why would you have to be out here doing dirt, one where you're messing with drug dealers, where you need to be paid to be a hitman? Like, why would he have to be a hitman? So it just shows that something in the dynamic wasn't there. Either she wasn't helping him out or helping him with opportunities. And I'm not saying that she needs to take care of him because he's a grown man. At, at some point in time, you got to get up and get up on your own. But there should have been some structure there to like help him where he wouldn't have to go into the streets. You know, somebody says they're not rich. Well, it seems like a lot of these celebrities are just not rich at this point. But again, the lifestyle that they portray is that they have it like that. So I don't think the public is wrong for assuming that they are rich. When y'all are throwing these expensive weddings and, you know, fur coats from head to toe, <laughs> you know, the latest this and that, people are going to assume that. But even if you're not rich, right, because you have a lot of people that are average parents, you know, middle class, lower income class that are not rich, it's not always about money. It is about structure and, and being there for your children morally, you know what I'm saying? Spiritually, really teaching them things. Why do you guys think I get so upset when people try to act like because Nick Cannon has money, th that's okay? Elon Musk is another Dusty. Yes, he's a billionaire, but he just had his 12th baby by like his eighth baby mama. That's not cool. Just because you have money doesn't mean anything. How are you raising your children? Are you there? Are you a, a significant figure in that child's life? So I feel really bad for this whole situation because as a parent, you don't want to hear about your child being involved in anything criminal, let alone a murder. But, you know, again, breaking these generational curses are very real. And, you know, it makes no sense that he's going down the same path that she went down. So I, it just makes me feel like, you know, what did he see growing up? Because a lot of times children will see a lot of dysfunction 
they'll see the violence, they'll see the fighting, you know, they'll see family members, you know, duking it out and they'll think that that's normal. And until you get away from like toxic family members, you don't even know what normalcy is. So who knows what this young man was raised around while she was in prison and the people around him because he was around the right people, there'd be no reason for him to go down the path of being a hired hitman. So it's really sad. People are saying, well, where's Papoose? Well, Papoose wasn't his dad. You know, that was his stepdad. You know, I'm sure Papoose tried what he could do, you know, and, and try to help him out. But at the end of the day, you know, the young man is 23 years old. He's grown. I don't infanticize, you know what I'm saying, men on this channel. Once you're of a certain age, you're grown. Black, white, or otherwise. So there's only so much Papu could do. And it seemed like, you know, at this point, Papu and Remy Ma, they're not even together. So maybe Remy Ma is too busy, you know, living her hot girl summer. I don't know. But the whole thing is unfortunate. It's going to be very interesting to see, you know, has Fat Joe spoken out about this? Any word from Fat Joe? Because, you know, he talks about everybody else. Yeah, it's sad. I'm just somebody said nope you know that he has a gossip channel because i'm like you know i don't i don't follow him but i'm like i haven't seen anybody post anything because when it comes to everybody else he got something to say so it's gonna be interesting somebody said he's hiding yeah it's gonna be real interesting to see like what all comes of this but they obviously have evidence they're saying that he was caught on camera He's running around with this other guy, the other young man that was also arrested, and they're looking at life in prison. So this is very serious. And again, this is why you have to watch the people that you're around, the people that you hang with. Energy is very, very real. You know, sometimes people get caught up in situations where normally if you're by yourself, you wouldn't do certain things, right? But when you get into like a group scenario or with somebody else, who can easily pull you into situations, you have to watch out for so-called friends like that. Because maybe his friend was the ringleader of all this, and maybe he didn't want to get involved, but he went along with it, and now we see he has a mugshot. And why does the mugshot look like it came from, like, 1994? I'm like, what? like, have y'all seen the mugshot? It's all ashy and gray. I'm like, what jail is this that he... <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, the mugshot is a mess. I'm like, what year is this? 1994? Look at this mugshot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, what in the ashy mugshot is going on here? He doesn't even look 23 in the mugshot. He looks 43. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to laugh to keep from crying, child. I'm like, what is going on with <laughs> <laughs> what in the new New Jack City is going on here? <laughs> I'm sorry, that mugshot was a hot mess. I didn't even think that was her son. I was like, no, nah, that ain't really my son. I said, not in the 1994 throwback mugshot child with the high ponytail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, good luck to him, you know. You know, that's the thing. Either you raise your kids right or you're going to be paying for their bail and lawyer money. So, you know, it's it's easier to start when they're young and really, you know, try try your best, right? Because you can only do so much as a parent once they get grown. But you got to try your best. You got to stay on top of them because uh, one thing the streets will do is raise your child if you drop the ball. Somebody said he looks like a 90s senior. It do. Y'all remember them old, you know them old ass pictures from back in the day? Everybody back in the day look old as fuck. <laughs> them old ass pictures, people had shag haircuts and stuff. We're like, dang, what year was this? 1985? Why do you look like a father of four? And you were a freshman. <laughs> if you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.